There are different types of spirometers, and one that you might typically find in a general practitioner's office, say a handheld dry spirometer, um, does not let you inhale. Obviously, you don't want to inhale uh, from a small space where other people have been exhaling, making it you know, warm and moist and a good uh, environment for microbes uh, to grow. So if you can only exhale into the more common spirometers, how can you measure the inspiratory reserve volume, which requires that you inhale? And the answer is you have to then um, use the equation. The vital capacity is measured by adding the tidal volume, that's a normal inhale or exhale, the expiratory reserve volume, uh, the amount of a forceful exhale, and the inspiratory reserve volume, the amount of a forceful inhale. So the way you would measure it is you would inhale as much as you could and you exhale as much as you could, and this represents three values, TV plus ERV plus IRV. If the vital capacity, the VC, is the sum of these three numbers, if you can measure two of them, the TV and the ERV, that's a normal exhale and a forceful exhale, and you can measure the vital capacity, then you rearrange the equation. And so um, the IRV, the one that you can't measure directly, is now equal to the VC minus the other two. So if the VC is equal to three numbers added, if you subtract two of those numbers, the, the ones you can measure, uh, from the VC, you are left with the IRV that you, um, that you were unable uh, to measure directly. So the way to measure the inspiratory reserve volume on one of the more uh, common spirometers is that you uh, subtract the TV and ERV values from the vital capacity value.